We're going to show you how to build one of these. These are very lightweight and they actually they flex as you can see and basically we're going to roll it up and we're going to stick it into the sm uh, a small rocket just like this. And there's actually no nose cone that goes on so you, you're not seeing a nose cone here for, for a reason. And then there's a streamer for the body tube and the streamer gets tucked inside so when uh, at ejection what happens is everything gets kicked out. The glider will come out, the streamer will come out, so this comes down separately. The glider unfurls and then it will start its glide. And um, we're going to build you one of these to show you how to build them. Uh, because, and, and this is very competitive, this is the best design there is. No one else is going to have this. Uh, just those people here at the building session and those of you that are watching. So, okay. Try to follow this with the camera. Ready? Three, two, one. It's got a little bit of a stall there, but you get to you see the point. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna build a glider, uh, the flex wing glider. It's just like this. Now the the carrier tube. I'm not gonna cover too much. Uh, you can build the carrier tube by yourself. It's basically uh, 16 inch balsa fins. Um, it's a 14 inch long BT5 tube or 13 millimeter and I have extras so for people here at the building session um, uh, just a short length of, of uh, string I use Kevlar Kevlar thread but uh, you can use string string will work and there's just a small pair uh, streamer on the end and you want to make your streamer pretty small this is about 10 inches long and I like to accordion fold mine because what's going to happen is it's going to, when you fold up your glider, which we'll show you how to make, the streamer has to go inside next to it. So there's got to be just enough room. You don't want to wrap the string around too much. You can go a couple of times, but you want to make sure that this is going to open. So it all gets pushed in like that. And you'll want to tighten up your string. Again, the reason for mounting the uh, shock cord on the outside is there's no obstructions inside the tube. So when the ejection charge goes off and pushes out the glider, that, that streamer comes out with it. This comes down separately, then the glider will open. Question? You still use wadding, right? Wadding. Yes, wadding. definitely use wadding. Um, technically, what you want is something you want to use like dog barf, something that's really going to plug up that tube. Uh, dog barf is cellulose home insulation. Uh, usually, you go to any launch site. There's, everybody has it. You can buy it at Home Depot. You can get a big bale. It's dirt cheap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's because um, you want you want it plugged because you don't want any heat getting to this because this is it's such thin plastic that it melts really quick. Okay. So now this part. Um, the what I've gone and done for you, you people that are not here. Um, on the Apogee website, and we'll have a link to it from the SCORE website, scoreonline.net. If you go there, we'll link back to these plans. These are the only plans that I know available that gives you the template for the uh, pattern. Um, so you'll get a picture of the rocket, um, a picture of the hinge, because the hinge is, is the critical part, and then kind of like the hinge attached to the spars. And that's the first page. And there's also some links here on the bottom to references. These are really good references on how to trim your glider. So make sure you check all those out because um, gliders need to be trimmed. These aren't hard to trim, but where do you get the information? Right here. <laughs> um, so then pages uh, two through five are the actual plans. And these are, because this is such a big glider and it doesn't fit on one sheet of paper, what I've gone and done is I've laid it out in a jigsaw pattern so and you'll see there's registration marks here in the corners so just take it put it against a window and then cellophane it together with cellophane tape and you're going to get something that looks like this all put together so now you have a full 100 percent scale uh, glider and i've gone and done that for us here at the event and so I will pass these out to everybody. Everybody gets to take one.
Okay, so on this sheet of paper, what I want you to know is first there's, there's a template for the fins. There's a fin template down here for the fins on the rocket. And so what I do is I cut that out and I just take that and I attach it right to the piece of balsa wood. This is 16th inch balsa wood. And you can use, what I use is I use a 3M spray mount. And this, you just spray the back of the paper, it gets it a little bit tacky, you slap it on there. And then when it comes time to cut it out, let me grab a knife here. Take your knife, you take your thing, and I've, I've laid them out so that you, you line up the long edge with the grain of the wood. The wood grain is, are these lines in the wood. So you just line it up, you take your ruler, and you just cut it along it, and you'll see these will go, come out really fast. So that is that part. We're not going to do that right now. You can do that at home. And then again, you're going to want to airfoil your fins. Your rocketeers, you should all know how to airfoil.